Welcome, glad you could make it and join me for another tutorial. Uh, this one's gonna be on a jungle tree. And uh, really quick, it was based off of a tutorial I did years ago that was a written tutorial in a blog form. And I posted some pictures in reply to another post by some other person. And I had several requests to make this tutorial. So uh, let's get right into it. Let's go. main tree is going to be made out of sculpted mold you can order it online uh, I think I have a link below if not I'll put one there uh, but anyway so I'm just gonna mix this up it's like a paper mache but what I found is this doesn't have a whole lot of shrinkage compared to the other stuff uh, it still has a little bit but it's not even close to the other stuff so this is what I'm gonna use I don't want it super wet because uh, I want to be able to have it stand on its own a little bit and retain some form in the future I may have it uh, more moist but for right now I don't want it that way and for this tutorial, I'm going to do two different types of trees. It's kind of shows some variety. So all I want to do right now is have a base for the tree. I'm just getting my fingers wet so I can just kind of mold it without it sticking to my hands as much. So I don't want it to be a, in a plus sign, which it kind of can be sometimes. So on this one right here, I'm going to extend it out, but then I'm going to push it to the side so it's not that so it's not as noticeable. And I'm not worried about, at this stage, I'm not worried about it being perfect be, because later on I'll sculpt more once this is dry and I have the base for it. But I just kind of, I don't want to have it one solid round uh, piece either. I want to have some form to it before I get going any further. Now this tree I'm not going to have as, as dramatic as that one, but I still want kind of like divots in it, but it's not going to be as dramatic. Now I'm going to put a fan on it to speed up the process on drying, get them firmed up. This, this is the this is the portion that takes the longest is dry time. Okay, so these are dry now. What I do uh, to help them dry is once they get to a certain point, they pop off this plastic real easy. I'll pop them off, lay them on their side, so the fan can hit this bottom side as well, and it just helps dry everything out. These have been these are they're, these are solid. They've been uh, under a fan for quite some time in a couple days. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a few techniques or a few options you can do on trees and just whatever you want to do as far as creativity. This one has four pretty uniform uh, spines, but I don't want uniformity on this. So I'm gonna make another spine just right here. So I'm gonna let that sit for a second. In the meantime, I'm gonna come over here. I'm just gonna kind of add more to this spine right here. I'm gonna get my fingers wet and you can kind of start smoothing things out and filling the holes. I actually made this sculpt mold a little bit too wet, so I need to let it set up a little bit. Not quite where I want it to be too moist. So we're gonna pause and then come right back. So essentially what we're gonna do with the spine is we're just gonna do what we did before. We're gonna wet our fingers and we're just gonna work it up to where it molds to the, it molds to the main tree trunk. Now there's little gaps here and there, but because of the final process step we'll do, I'm not overly concerned with it. Uh, so right now it's fine. I just want the main, I, I want the main base structure is what I'm, really trying to shoot for right here. This is now dry enough to start putting a, kind of some roots on. Just gonna put a tool underneath it, just kind of give it some support. I can kind of work the top of it. It's not overly critical if I don't fill in these holes right here initially, because I can go back with sculpt mold and fill in those little pockets if I need to. All right, so kind of have the idea of how to attach roots and then we'll attach more and we'll, and we'll come back after I do that. Okay, what I did is I just applied a thin layer of Gultimold to it and kind of let it dry a little bit. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through and uh, wet my finger and smooth everything out. I should have did this right up front. I should have did that before I started putting the roots in. It's been a while since I've done these trees and things are kind of coming back to me. So I've added some wire to the tree for for branches and support to hold the, hold the leaves and clump foliage. Uh, all I did is twist a couple wires together 
and then to secure it I'm just gonna twist it on here the reason why is because once I put sculpt mold on here it'll be fine so I'm just gonna wrap it on here and once I do that I'll just kind of shape them how I want and if I don't want them all uniform I can have one go closer to the trunk a little bit and then go out so they're not all matching and the reason why I twist is because it helps the sculpt molds uh, adhere to it better. Okay, my goal here is just to get some coating on the this stuff so it has uh, so it has some form of rigidity to it. So I can start applying and do layers. I'm sure there's probably an easy way to do trees. This is how I just do this tree. I will probably experiment and look for look to do other ways on other trees in the future. I'm going to paint the whole entire tree a dark fir umbar before I apply any of the roots and different things like that to it. These are willow branches I got from my neighbor's uh, tree when it, there was a windstorm and uh, a bunch of below the ground. So that's one thing you can use and you can use roots. I'm gonna paint the roots now. Now that everything's dry, I'm gonna go ahead and dry brush with a burnt umbar. It's kind of a dry brush paint type thing. Not a lot of paint on my brush, but then I'm not taking as much off as I would if I was really gonna go crazy on dry brushing. I'm gonna dry brush some raw sienna now. All right, I'm gonna kind of stipple, dry brush really lightly with sandstone. I'm gonna go over most of the sandstone with the sepia shade. I'm gonna go around and hit areas with Juchi Violet. More of the recesses than anything, just kind of darken up the crevices and the creases and things like that. I'm gonna go around with the Antonio camo shade now. Mostly in the bottoms and then just kind of spot here and there, just add some more green to give the idea that it's a jungle type situation and just to darken some other areas up. Not gonna go crazy on it because I'm gonna add some moss and stuff later that'll give more of the green, I, but I do, I do wanna tint some of the bark a little more green. I'm gonna use burlap that I've taken some strands out of just to kind of make a ball in the center, just so I can glue the clump foliage to. Normally I use a, there's a fiber that you can buy. I just don't have time to buy it uh, to do this instead. So I'm gonna see how this works out and see how this rolls as far as gluing clump foliage to it. I actually found a little bit what it looks like. It looks like this stuff right here. It's not the clump foil, it's just that stuff right there that I would normally use. I'm gonna spray ad uh, adhesive and start gluing this stuff to the tree. I'm just using tacky spray. Use some Elmer's glue or PBA and then some water and dilute the PBA. And then I'm gonna add some extra fine turf from Woodland Scenics. I think it's the mixed blend, the mixed blend. Okay, 
Okay, for the final touch, I'm just gonna stipple, kind of slash, dry brush, some war, war boss green. I'm just gonna do it around the mossy areas, primarily. Well, that's a wrap on another tutorial. I'm glad you could join me and I hope you got something out of it and hope that it was enjoyable and that there's something to take away from it. Uh, there's probably several ways you can do roots. This is just the way that I, I've done roots in the past and I kind of stuck true to what I did originally, but I plan on experimenting and possibly doing some roots uh, some other ways too. And I really want to venture into making trees because there's other ways I want to do it. There's some knock leaves and some other methods and uh, I want to use more roots, uh, actual roots as the tree uh, and things like that. I want to kind of venture out and uh, try all kinds of trees actually and see if I can pull some off. I've seen some pretty cool ones across the world and I'd like to see if I can pull some of those off. Uh, I'm probably steer away from clump fo uh, foliage uh, for the most part. If I use it maybe going forward on the next few, it's probably just going to be a base uh, type situation where I can just glue things to it. But I don't know. We'll see. Uh, but if you have any suggestions, comments, uh, leave them below if you like it. Uh, uh, go ahead and hit, hit the like button. If uh, you get something out of the channel, just, you know, click that subs subscribe button and the bell so you get some notifications. Well, my mind went blank. I'm out of words, so I'll just close it and call it a night. Uh, hope you have a good night, good day, whatever your, the case may be or whatever time of day you're happy to be watching this. Uh, Hope everything's treating you well and happy hobbying and uh, remember, remember what my mother used to always say that anyone can do art. Ciao.